While many Americans recover from COVID within just a matter of weeks, two new studies by the CDC and National Center for Health Statistics found in the last year, almost 18 million Americans reported having lingering effects, with half claiming they still had the condition. Marvin Scott reports. Diagnosed as long COVID, the condition occurs when patients still have symptoms at least four weeks after they have cleared the infection. In some instances, the symptoms can persist for months, even years. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Anthony Santella notes that the symptoms can vary. Long COVID symptoms include difficulty breathing, muscle pain, loss of sense of smell and taste, and other kind of respiratory distress symptoms. According to the federal studies, roughly one million children had long COVID, with more than a quarter million still reporting symptoms. In one report, women were more likely to suffer, with nearly twice as many saying they had long COVID compared to men. When it came to age, adults between 35 and 49 were most likely to have the lingering effects. Senior citizens 65 and older, least likely. Among racial and ethnic groups, Hispanic adults were most likely to have long COVID, followed by white adults, and a lower percentage for blacks, even lower for Asians. By age group, children between 12 and 17 were most likely to have or still have long COVID. Why is it that some people struggle with COVID longer than others? And so there are a number of, of hypotheses that researchers are, are testing, but the most common ones that we're, we're hearing about through science is about the inflammation that the infection causes and how we as individuals feel that inflammation, you know, weeks and months after the infection is cleared. One concern of the new survey is that all the respondents may not even know they had long COVID. The reports could help in the development of new methods to treat the illness. The significance of these studies shows that we need to continue to produce good, high-quality science because the clinical trials and the data that's produced today will inform the science and the medicine of tomorrow 